my name is Kat and I haven't posted in a while so I have a lot to catch up on starting with this massive book haul that we're doing today. Let's go! Kicking things off, I have here the Booksplosion Book of the Month pick for May, which is The Earth, My Butt, and Other Big Round Things by Carolyn Mackler. This is a young adult contemporary coming of age story about a 15 year old girl who is plus size and she kind of feels like the black sheep in her seemingly perfect family. But then something shocking happens that makes that perfect facade start to crumble. This month we're working with Bloomsbury, so they sent me this book, and also the sequel, The Universe is Expanding and So Am I, which comes out at the end of this month on May 29th. Now this first book actually came out like 15 years ago in 2003, and I actually read it back when it came out. I was in high school and I just completely forgot about it until I started flipping through it again and I was like, wait a minute, this is familiar. I don't remember much about it other than the fact that I enjoyed it and I thought it was really funny. So I am really excited to reread it and see what my take is this time around. I'm also really looking forward to reading the second book because it's, not often that a contemporary story gets a sequel, and it's really not often that a contemporary story gets a sequel 15 years later. So that is very intriguing to me, and I'm excited to read both of these and just see how it all plays out. So yeah, for those of you who are interested in joining the read-along this month, then definitely check out the description where you will find all of the relevant details. The next book that I have here is Brightly Burning by Alexa Dawn, and I also have an ARC that I received from the publisher because I'm working with them this month, but but I did buy this physical copy myself because I wanted a hardcover and also I love supporting debut authors, especially debut authors who have awesome YouTube channels. If you guys aren't familiar with Alexa's YouTube channel, it's linked down in the description. I definitely recommend it. She makes fantastic videos about the publishing industry and her journey during her debut year. This is her debut novel. It just came out on May 1st and it's basically a Jane Eyre read telling in space. Now I am actually not too familiar with the story of Jane Eyre, but I do love sci-fi and after binging Alexa's videos, I am just very, very excited to finally read her book. Then I have here Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. And I received this book from the publisher Wednesday Books who I'm working with this month. This is a debut novel that's been kind of pitched as wonderful woman meets Vikings and I am in. I'm just, I'm so into all of that. It's about this teenage girl who's been raised to be a warrior and her life is just very brutal. All she really knows is violence and fighting. And then one day on the battlefield, she sees the impossible. Her brother, who she watched die five years previously, is alive and fighting with the enemy. Everything about this book just intrigues me. Like the comparisons, the gorgeous cover, and just the synopsis. It sounds like a really cool, badass, violent survival kind of story. And I'm just, I'm really into everything that's happening here. And I cannot wait to read it. The next book that I have here is Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. This book is being adapted into a movie that is coming out in August, I believe. I'm not quite sure, but I saw the trailer for it and it looked amazing. So I immediately watched the trailer like two more times because it was really good. And then I went and bought this book because I just, I really want to read it before the movie comes out. And it just, it looked hilarious and fun. And I'm super stoked to get to this. Then I have here another adult novel that was recently adapted into a movie, but I have not yet seen that movie, even though everyone's been talking about it for months. But I first wanted to read the book, 
Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asman. I have been trying to avoid spoilers for the book and the movie for months, and I am just really, really excited to finally read this so I can see the movie and I can know what everyone is talking about when they talk about this book. <laughs> Next up, I have here Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. And I actually pre-ordered this book and then received a copy in the mail from the publisher. I think in my last book haul, I mentioned that I waited to buy Shatter Me and Restore Me because I thought Harper was gonna send it to me, and when they didn't, I just bought it myself. And so when Leah was coming out, I, I thought Harper's not gonna send it to me. So I bought a copy, and then they send it to me. So. Now I have two. And I was actually really, really happy that the publisher sent me a copy because my pre-order was delayed. So the copy that the publisher sent me arrived on release day. So I did still get to binge read this all on the day it came out. And it was wonderful. I just, I adore Becky Albertalli's books and this was no exception. Speaking of my last book haul and delayed shipments, I have Restore Me, finally. This came like the day after I filmed my last book haul, so it's just been sitting on my desk for like two months now. But yeah, I am super excited to read this. I have been avoiding spoilers as much as I can, and I, I've been doing a fairly decent job. Like, I don't really know much about what to expect here, but I am very much looking forward to reading it and finding out how this series is going to develop after that original trilogy. Then I have here Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. If you haven't heard about this book, then you must be living under a rock because this has just been taking the YA world by storm. Everyone has been raving about it. Everything I've seen about this book has been amazing. Like I think the worst review I saw was four stars and it was like, it was good, but it's a little overhyped. And like that, that was a bad review for this book. So yeah, it's been just getting amazing reviews all around and I am very excited to finally read this and see what everyone is raving about. Then I have here The Invasion by Patter O'Gillen. This is the sequel to The Call, which I read at the end of 2016, I wanna say. And that book was so creepy and original and twisted and I at first didn't know there was gonna be a sequel. I think it was kind of pitched as a standalone, but now there's a sequel. So of course I had to buy this. I am very, I don't wanna say excited, that doesn't feel like the right word because this world is horrifying, but I am intrigued to revisit this world and these characters and just see where the story is gonna go. Then, of course, I had to buy the third book in the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Riordan. Unless you're like brand new to my channel, then you probably know that I adore Rick Riordan's books. I just think he's so funny. I love his sense of humor and I love his take on mythology. And the Apollo series is the only one of his series right now that's like currently running because Magnus Chase just ended in the fall. So we're on book three of what I believe is going to be a five book series following Apollo, who is so sassy and kind of a self-centered douche, but in a lovable way. And I'm just, I'm excited to read this. I've heard that this book, book three, is where things start to like heat up and get real intense. And I am looking forward to that. I'm a little scared, but I'm looking forward to it. Then, of course, I also had to buy a quart of what one is this again? <laughs> a Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Maas. This is a novella. It's only about 200 pages, which is very, very short for Sarah J. Maas. And supposedly, this is supposed to kind of bridge the gap between the original Akatar trilogy and the forthcoming trilogy that is set in the same world, but we're following different main characters in that one. I'm probably gonna read this real soon just because 
I am so emotionally attached to the characters and it is it is quite short so I think I can fly through this. Then I have here Runaways by Rainbow Rowell and Chris Anka. I feel like I have been waiting so long to read new words from Rainbow Rowell. Like I know she's been writing on the Runaways comic for a while but I have been waiting for this bind up this volume one collection of the comic issues number one through six. I'm probably going to be reading this very, very soon, like maybe later today, because I I've already had it for like a day in my apartment and I haven't read it yet. And it it's, it's going to be so fast and I'm pretty sure I'm going to really enjoy it. So yeah, I, I can't wait to dive in. Then I have here the one arc that I received at Y'all West. And that is What If It's Us by Adam Silvera and Becky Albertalli. And e even though this was the only arc that I got at Y'all West, I still feel like it, it was all I needed. Like, I feel like I won Y'all West because I have this. Again, I love Becky's books and I love Adam's books and I've seen them talking about this on Twitter for what feels like forever and I'm just so excited that I finally have a copy in my hands and I can now read this. I just, it's real. I don't know if the ending is going to be more of a Becky ending or more of an Adam ending but I'm scared and excited nonetheless. Then I have here The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. I don't remember how this book came into my radar, but I do know that it was published originally in the UK and the US edition is coming out later this fall. But the premise sounded so awesome that I didn't want to wait for the American edition that's coming out later this year. So I went to Book Depository and I bought the UK edition that was already out. Basically, it's about this teenage girl who is on this huge spaceship that is bound for a new planet, but there was some accident or something that happened. So she is now the only surviving member of the spaceship and she has been alone for years. But then Earth launches another spaceship and it's faster than the one that she's on. So it's catching up to her gradually, but it's happening. And on this spaceship is a teenage boy who starts emailing her. And even though the messages take months to transmit, it's still nice having someone else to talk to. So the main character, Romy, starts developing a friendship and feelings for this boy, but she doesn't really know him and there might be something that he's not telling her. I've actually already read this book and I really enjoyed it. It's very intriguing and gripping. There's like this thriller aspect to it that I wasn't quite anticipating, but it was very cool read. The next book that I have here is The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. This is another book that has been adapted into a movie and I wanted to read the book before seeing the movie, though I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to see the movie because last I heard there were some distribution issues. Like apparently this film was a huge hit at Sundance, but they're having trouble getting it into theaters widely. Basically, this book is set in, I believe, the early 1990s, and we're following a teenage girl named Cameron who is coming to terms with her sexuality and the fact that she likes girls when her family decides that they need to fix her by sending her off to a gay conversion camp. So yeah, I'm excited to read this and then I'm excited to hopefully see the movie. And finally, 
I have here The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This is a historical novel. It's kind of a retelling of the Trojan War. And I have just heard nothing but amazing things about it. Like so many people on booktube who have read this have really enjoyed it. And I decided to buy a copy myself so I could see what all the hype was about. All right, there you have it. Those are all of the books that I had to haul for this video today. And that is gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful night and I will have another video up eventually. So I will see you then. Bye.